Hey guys, Steve Renton here and welcome to this short training video. Now, let's start off by clarifying exactly what an online event is. Okay, so in marketing terms, this can be a hangout, it can be a webinar, or if you're really smart, it can be both combined and you're creating a special selling environment where the purpose is to drive a lot of sales in a very limited time with a true element of scarcity and engagement with your audience of buyers. And I hosted a large webinar yesterday and I polled everybody for the most common questions that they had about this process. And it was really surprising because what I learned is that there's a lot of confused people out there that don't understand just how easy online events are to create and the misinformation out there is costing people a huge amount of lost income. And that's why I wanted to put together this short video to cover the most common myths that are out there today. Webinars. Love them or hate them, they are the backbone of the online event world. Now, if you've been subjected to some of the awful pitch fests that some novice marketers and IM have been doing lately, I can understand why you think they're not effective. But done right, they are still the best way to make high profits online today. Now, one of the questions I get asked is, well, you know, aren't webinars old news? So let's head over to Google Trends right now and we'll find out, okay? Now here's a screenshot that I took earlier today. Take a look at this. If you look over on the left hand side, you're going to see how the interest in online events and webinars started off back in 2005. And as we progress over to the right hand side to the current date today, it shows the peak volume is at its highest ever. And this is from Google Trends live right now. So you can see how much of a powerhouse this technology is still going to be for the immediate future. Now, Google Hangouts. These are all the trend these days. The novel and people love them and you can see live video and have up to 10 presenters on one session and these add a huge boost to the world of online events but they do have their limitations you can't have effective two-way communication with your audience yet unless you're going to jump backwards and forwards on a YouTube page and nobody wants to do that on a sales event all right now they also can't pass out a URL to your customers which is also a pretty big factor when you're trying to sell products to them there are specific tools to help you get around this and what you're seeing on the screen below that handsome devil <laughs> is a branding app that helps you establish instant authority with your audience and it also allows you to pass out those all important buyers instructions and URLs and inside my forthcoming product I'm going to share techniques that world-class marketers are using right now to combine hangouts with traditional webinars to deliver six-figure results from a single promotion and the app that they're using in this process is what you're seeing on the screen right now. And this is one of the secret weapons that's part of my offer that's been released for a short period on November the 5th. The second secret weapon that my clients and students are crushing it with right now is called the Online Event Contest app. Now this easy to use piece of software allows you to get your audience engaged before and during your event. And the beauty of this is that it allows you to introduce something called micro-commitments to your marketing. And this means getting small, simple yeses from your audience. So think of this like dating. Now let's keep this PG and say if you want a girl to marry you, you wouldn't come right out and pop the question on the first date now, would you? You're going to get her to say yes to a number of other small commitments beforehand so that by the time you pop the big question, she's already used to saying yes and is hopefully going to give you a positive answer at that point. Now, marketing and selling products, especially higher ticket items, is a lot like this. The more people have said yes to you on smaller things along the way, things like liking a post, sending out a message, commenting on a thread, entering a contest, the more that you have them agreeing to micro-commitments along the way to the sale, when you get around to presenting them with the offer, they're already in that yes state and they're much more likely to buy. Now I can't give too much on this method away right now because it will spoil the surprise on November the 5th when we launch. So let's move on and look at the different results between a sales page, a video sales letter and even an old school webinar. Now why on earth would anybody send an audience to a sales page that's going to convert at 1 or 2% which is the average or even a video sales letter that's going to convert at 3% or 4% when you can be sending your audience over to a webinar or an online event where you can offer your products and services at a much higher price point to begin with and still typically convert them anywhere between 10 and 20 percent and even higher when you get better. Now let's look at some quick maths, okay? We're going to keep it really simple. We'll say you've got 100 customers that see each offer, all right? And we're going to say the offer is $47 to keep it simple. 
On the sales page over on the left hand side, you've got a 2% conversion rate. Let's say it's going to convert as well as it can at 2%. You make two sales. That's 94 bucks. Whoopee. Go home, retire. <laughs> All right. On the video, you got a 4% conversion rate. Again, taking it to its highest possible. You're going to sell to four of those people. That's $188. All right. So that's a little bit better. On the webinar, and we're going to keep the conversion rates in the middle of that range, not even go to the top like we did with those other two methods. We're going to say, okay, 15%. You get 15 people buying. That's $705. So you can get to see the difference immediately right there. And again, the other important thing to consider is because a webinar allows you to create such a great bond with your audience, you're able to sell higher ticket items. So not only are the conversion rates higher, but the price points are higher as well. And typically you'd sell from $197 right up to thousands of dollars. And this is what gives you the webinar double whammy. Now let me show you what that translates to. Here's some examples of what were generated with webinars in very short time periods. Now this is a product launch that I designed for one of my clients, which was called Offline Top Gun. Now this generated a lot of profit on the front end and it built a buyer's list of several thousand people. And when we ran a webinar to that list the next week, we brought in $147,000 in one week. Right now I'm working with John Sugar on his current webinar, which is called Mailer Millionaire. And that brings in an average of $94 for every person that attends the webinar. All right, that's not a statistic for people that buy. Every person that gets on the webinar to have a look, there's an average of $94 being brought in from every attendee. Now, of course, the results of each webinar depends on the JV that he runs it with and the size of their list. And we've had webinars that bring in over $204,000 from one JV. All right, and this is run multiple times with different partners every single week. Now, some people are worried that webinars are too expensive or too technical to run. All right, so what we're going to do is jump over to meetingburner.com and I'm going to show you guys how fast it is to set up an account and set up your first ever online event for free. All right, so uh, test. I'm just going to say ba -ba 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 -ba, continue. Okay, we're going to go with the free option. We've got different options depending on the audience you want. Um, we're going to work with free right now. So that's me created an account. Now I'm going to hit schedule a meeting, which is what these guys call their online events or their webinars. So we'll call it test uh, event. If I can type that properly. Test event. And uh, Steve demo. Okay. Now obviously you would put something a bit more descriptive in there when you're doing this for real. Um, you set the meeting day and time, so we'll say it's going to be on Saturday. It's going to be at 5 p.m. for one hour on Pacific Standard Time. We'll hit next step. We'll leave the audio options as the standard defaults. Facebook integration. Will we allow Facebook registrations? Yes, we will. And will we display the meeting on Facebook walls? Yes. You always want to use viral options where you can. Hit next step. And that's it. You've scheduled your meeting now. So basically... What we have here is the invitation link. Um, so let me just copy that. I'll close the window down. All right, we have our meeting scheduled. I'll open up a new window. And then what you do is you send out via email or via social media this meeting link. And that's you ready to start registering people for your event. And they can register via Facebook or they can enter their name and email address and hit register. And that's it. In under two minutes, you've set up a free account and you've scheduled your very first online event. Now tell me, isn't that easier than SEO, PPC and all this other malarkey if you want to make money online? All right, it's also a misconception that webinars are only for the gurus. And let me show you a case study on this. Now one of my students, Robert, generated $40,000 from three webinars after going through my training last year. And then he went on to generate an extra $240,000 that year all from webinars. Now, I'm going to read quickly what Robert said, so don't think I'm talking about myself here, but if you want to be the best at something, you want to learn from the best. And for webinar training, that's definitely Stephen Renton. So, thanks, Robert. What about traffic? Okay, this is a concern for some people as well. Now, one of the easiest no-cost sources for beginners is through social media. And let's take a look at some of the facts right now. Now, Looking at Facebook, there's a billion active users over there every month, and that's a billion with a B. All right, 
58% of these guys log in daily. So that's just under 6 million people a day on Facebook. And they've got an average of 130 friends connected to every single one of those. So let me ask you guys a quick question. Do you think that a people's friends who generally share similar interests are going to be good candidates for selling your product to? Now, of course they are. All right, so being able to virally pass on information through an organic network like this is solid gold. And here's a quick case study of social media in action. Now, one of my good friends, Jo Barnes, built her list entirely from scratch using only free social media. She created an audience just by releasing great content through ebooks and reports and a small piece of software that cost her about a hundred bucks to have outsourced on Elance. All right, now, Jo struggled with webinars when she began. She made every mistake in the book, and she was effectually nicknamed the Queen of Webinar Disasters by her own audience. All right, now, don't think I'm picking on Jo. She's a good friend. This is a label that she had from her own fans, and she openly laughs about it. But even with that title, when she overcame her nervousness and finally got around to trying to sell a product using webinars, do you guys have any idea how much money she made? Go on, take a guess. Yep, Jo sold an incredible... $127,000 in one week to a list that she built up completely from using free social media. And this was her first ever sales webinar. So if that doesn't inspire you guys, I don't know what will. Now, another question I get asked is, do I have to be an expert with my own product to sell via online events? And that's absolutely untrue. It's a little known fact that most experts only know a percentage more than the general public on any subject. So if you've read a few specialist books or if you go through a couple of courses, you can educate yourself to know more than 90% of your audience and then go ahead and teach them what you've learned. So don't sweat the question, what if I'm not an expert? And if you don't want to create your own product, there's a dozen other ways to make money with webinars as well. And that includes promoting your own offline business. You can promote other people's products as an affiliate. And webinars are a great way to win big cash prizes during the launch contests. You can broker webinars between the creators and the JVs. And then you just take a percentage of the revenue. And this model alone can gross me five figures a month. And there's hardly any decent JV managers in the marketing industry. So this is wide open. You can also sell webinar services to local businesses or for any business for that matter, helping them create their presentations and charging a substantial fee for your services. You can also teach the corporates on how to save their training budgets by using remote webinar sessions. Now, that last idea is an untapped gold mine because GoToWebinar has just released a new version of its platform called GoToTraining. And as you probably recognize in the marketing industry, when anything new comes out, there's a lot of money to be made teaching people how to utilize it properly. Another question that I get asked about is, what if I don't know how to structure an online event? And the method that I teach my new students is what I like to call Hollywood style. And it's named that way because it's like a good movie. It's got three acts. You've got the introduction, you've got the body, and you've got the clothes. Now, in the introduction, you need to grab people's attention. So that's something big, bold, and interesting. Then you develop a rapport and you build trust with the audience. And just like in a movie, the best way to do this is with a story. It's an old saying, and you'll have heard it before, that facts tell, but stories sell. And it's 100% true. You listen to any of the good salesmen on stage, on webinars, they're always working in stories about their personal life or their dog they rescued or whatever else. And it's the stories that draw you into the sales process. It's not just the facts that go blah, 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 blah. So be aware of that and don't think that that's just an old saying. It's actually entirely true. Now, in Act 2, you get into the body of the presentation. This is where you're going to teach people great content. You're going to show them actionable stuff that can be useful to them, and then you're going to introduce the product or the service that you're going to offer, and this is going to usually provide a faster, an easier, or a more cost-effective solution to that problem that your audience is having. Now, Act 3 is the grand finale, the big close. Now, again, like a movie, this is where the tempo increases. Things are going to get more exciting, your energy level is going to rise, and then you go ahead and you present a no-brainer offer to the audience. And you back this up with solid proof on how it works, you give them a strong guarantee and a legitimate reason why they've got to buy it right now. And that is your high-converting online event right there, in and out in one hour flat. Another question that people come out with was, doesn't it take forever to put all this together? All right, so let's look at another case study. 
Now, Robert, who I told you about earlier, has a friend called Ryan. They're now business partners, but back then they were just friends. And Ryan was given an opportunity to present a webinar to a JV list. Now, the challenge that he had was that he had no product to sell and no webinar. And he had to present this the next day. So he and Robert immediately took a hold of my training. They built out Ryan's first ever sales webinar in less than 12 hours. They worked through the night and they ended up selling 20 units of his brand new $497 product, which netted a cool $10,000 from that first webinar alone. Now, all of this was done using my strategies that are inside my product. And the interesting thing is that Ryan got this knowledge second hand. So that shows you how powerful this stuff really is. I'm going to wrap this up by showing you what's on the horizon. I've designed a simple system that combines the five biggest marketing platforms in the world today to achieve results like you're seeing here on the screen. All right, now I want you to look at this very closely because what you're seeing on the screen right now is the holy grail of webinars. When you see a message that you can't get one more person squeezed into your event, when you get this displayed on your screen, as I've helped my clients achieve, then you know you've got everything dialed in as good as it can get. Now, the reason that this is the unicorn in our marketplace is that every person on your webinar is worth a certain amount of money to you. And when you've got a maxed out webinar, even if your conversion rate sucks, if you've got a thousand people on it, you're going to make a good profit. And when you do them right, the guys who don't even buy from you during this webinar are going to love you for the content. They're going to come back to your next webinar because they now trust you and they know that you're an expert and you deliver great value and great information. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, keep an eye out on your inboxes for November the 5th when my signature product is going to launch and I'm going to share these cutting edge tactics that I've been working behind the scenes and helping people blow up their launches and their own products to five and six figure success stories from a single webinar. That's going to get released to the general public. It's going to be open for a short time at a special price and then it's closing down. So 5th of November, guys, watch those inboxes. And I'll hopefully see you soon.